I'll be real with you guys, let me be upfront and completely honest right off the bat. I am pretty sure that what I'm talking about today first happened a year ago and probably even longer than that, but I never really addressed it before and I, I don't really have a reason for that. Maybe I just didn't care all that much and I'm pretty sure I still don't, but to this day, people still continue to send me information and screenshots about this and also to this day, I still have absolutely no idea why this has happened. Happened. So considering I don't have all the answers that both you and I are looking and hoping for, I'm gonna call this more of a story time video rather than anything else, but tee hee, you gotta trust me on this one, it's still an interesting story and I already know that it's gonna make for a good video. You were kicked from this game and the reason listed right here is just moi, truly the epitome of chef's kiss. My dear friends, just take a listen to this. You are a member of a permanently banned group. Chloe Games fans. Upon reaching the very moment that my own two eyes met with this incredibly upsetting sentence, my entire being filled with tears and that feeling was shortly followed by my eyes uncontrollably peeing absolutely everywhere. So that was probably the weirdest way you will ever hear someone describe the action of crying and for that you are so very welcome my friends. I'm gonna give you guys maybe a good 30 seconds to try and guess the game that has banned both me and my entire group of fans but meanwhile since we are waiting around anyway let's remain productive Please make sure to leave a like on this video so that we may be graced with the gift of being unbanned. And of course, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. The percentage of who is subscribed is rising and for that I thank you guys. Okay, did you guys finish submitting your answers as to what game has banned us and if you have already tried to join the game before and you know what the game is, don't you dare be cheating because I must definitely have my eyes on you guys. Get ready for this, the game that has banned me and my entire Roblox group is Frappe and oh my god, that is something that we just have not heard in a very long time. I honestly believe the last time I mentioned this game in any regard was like two years ago at the very least. I haven't touched or thought about the game or the group in the longest time and for that reason alone I can't even tell you if the game is still up and running or rather I say I, I don't know if the group is still actively being updated and used but when I searched for it the main game itself did have a little over 100 players so it's very evident that people still continue to play this game every single day but how active the group is in terms of it actually being used by the developers isn't something I can confirm. What's interesting about this to me is the one piece of telltale evidence right here is that the game was updated literally a day or so ago but the game is still named as V4 meaning version 4 and correct me if I am wrong here but I'm pretty sure it has been V4 since 2017 or 2018 so I really don't know what's going on there but I have to talk about something right now. For sure, I was one of those Roblox troller YouTubers back a long time ago. You know the type, the classic go into a Roblox cafe and purposely break the rules that they had within the game possibly the most annoying type of person to have around and now all I can do is look back in shame and cringe at myself for those actions but right now as everything currently stands I have absolutely no problems with the group of Frappe or literally any other group on Roblox. So at this point in the video I want to make it very clear to you guys that you are not to send absolutely any hit to anyone mentioned or shown in this video. It is beyond unnecessary and will cause more problems than it will solve. I'm sure you guys know that by now. Let me tell you what else is very interesting. Yeah, I used to be one of those real cringe Roblox cafe trollers, but in that same exact era, the very same time period that I did all of this trolling, I was also one of those people who got hired within the cafe groups and yeah, I, I know that's probably the most confusing part about this entire video. Believe me, I know it truly was a confusing time. But I wasn't just your basic barista rank in these groups. I worked my way up to pretty much the highest rank that you could achieve and I, I remember some other person specifically saying like, Chloe literally trolls for videos, should she be a high rank right now? And just nobody ever seemed to care and that's just bizarre but I do commend those people in particular for having such a high patient level. I do apologise for getting sidetracked for a short while here but back to the whole banned by frappe situation we are currently stuck in. 
I brought the trolling stuff up for the whole purpose that I'm almost certain that that is not the reason they banned my entire group from entering the game because they placed the ban a good while after I stopped doing anything like that. You know, I have spoken with people, we have theorised a whole lot and there is maybe one thing that could be a big contender in the permanent ban being put into place. Basically, I was literally sleeping this one time and someone in my Discord server posted a link to the Frappe main game and told people to join. Whether that was supposed to be a raid or whether they just wanted people to play with them, I really have no idea. But the point is that evidently Frappe saw these people mentioning me or my server and automatically assumed that they were sent from me, which was quite literally impossible considering I was asleep. But when it comes down to it, I have never blamed Frappe for the decision that they went with because quite frankly, I would have definitely done the same thing. But at the same time, my entire Roblox fan group got banned from the game because someone on Discord told people to join the game. I can't say this is 100% confirmed because I don't remember ever speaking to anyone from Frappe and so no one ever said a single word to me, let alone a full reason. But when I put it in that way, it, it just doesn't make all that much sense if we are being completely honest. And especially when I didn't even know about the ban until like a month after it first happened because like I said, this was way after I stopped even thinking about Roblox Cafe games. But again, this was just a fun little story time thing for me to tell and I guess the idea of making this video has always been sitting there at the back of my mind since the first ever time someone told me about the ban, but I just never did anything because I didn't see it as important or necessary, so this truly was just a bit of fun more than anything else. I'm certainly not angry at Frappe and I certainly hold no bad Blood with them. I would even go as far as to say that I'm happy that they saw this large group of people flocking into the game and decided to take action against that. Perhaps looking into it a little bit more wouldn't hurt too much but overall I do not hit the group in the slightest and you guys definitely should not either. I, I, I don't want this video to be causing anything other than positivity. But anyway let me guys think of this Roblox game literally banning me and my entire Roblox fan group. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.